Hi, welcome to Arch Labs 4.1. This is Yoda. I mean, of course, the computer, not the model. What we are going to do now is continue with our task to make the Arch Labs Nemesis, and we're going to install Arch Labs Nemesis on Yoda. We've already done the root level. What is this, the root level? Let's take a look. So we go to the file manager, data, Arshlabs Nemesis, we've done all these, these and these, except a few of them didn't want the radio, I uh, don't want the ZSH as of yet, but installed most of these things. Not that one, for instance. So now we're going to another kind of level, a level where you're going to change things to your .config file, the .config file is an important file where a folder where everything is actually kept your settings of your applications are set although that yoda is a rolling release whatever it's inside this dot config folder is your personal choice if you change something you resize something if you make it dark if you change the font somewhere it has to keep this setting and often it's in this folder so what we do here is when we um, do a clean install we actually forget all about this and what I'm doing now is copying everything that's in the settings folder back to here so the bookmarks must be kept somewhere yes the bookmarks are kept in a place the settings settings any these are the settings and the bookmarks are normally here just a matter of making one like so and go back and here are the bookmarks so now I've added data and when we open bookmarks there you have data folder so let's close it like so so basically everything that's in here in the .config file is its personalized file config I save it on github I download it from github and I put it back that's all that's going to happen so let's delete it again so you see that it happens really quick and what I'm gonna do is go over one by one and see what happens and open it up so you see what's going to happen let's maybe first do oh yeah, my screen key is not on and let's do this for you guys string key and then the preferences show like so so again what did I press I press super and then the numbers on my numeric keypad which makes styling beautiful fast and easy so that's it that's what I wanted to do and now the another one I'm going to put it here so now I have three elements and I'm gonna run number 600 install personal settings folder version 2 quick look it's going to check whether these folders exist so the first part is does it exist if it does not you make it so nothing is being overwritten this does not cost any megabyte it's just is a folder there yes okay do nothing if the folder is not there make the folder that's for an, an, an easy way to make sure that all the folders are there but anyway I've made again copy paste in the different uh, scripts so really to be sure that we have a folder to copy to if it doesn't exist you can't copy to it so this is the first one just some folders it's going over all elements we could have opened actually um, pop 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 let's see GIMP for instance GIMP has never run on this system and even so I have scripts and themes uh, now installed due to the script. Let's check out open box so we do genie for instance, genie, termite, um, Alex terminal, terminator. Some of them can go like this one is no longer available. Um, but it's just a folder, it doesn't cost us anything. Doesn't matter really. But it's saved and it will be updated. So, any of these, I don't know, the config terminator, is it possible to check? 
here you see the terminator so that's already created um, tin 2 xfc4 are probably all there sm player probably not sm player is that still in our yep it's still installed that's not, but it's not yet we did not run it yet as you can see we did not run it okay so we can use that one to check if it works and there you see sm player is now created if it does not exist create it what does this do this is going to the folder settings bookmark bookmarks and put it just where i just uh, showed you and, and let's go again here so this is going to be filled and it's so easy otherwise i have to make them all again and again and again on each installation and you get to know these things where they are you know by heart it's going to be here or there so this is my folder where i always go to then 615 is nothing for you i guess but it is for me when i make a website i want to have a gnome screenshot because it can save uh, to gpg that's the main issue png is all nice and beautiful but it's two three megabytes big too big for the website that's clear so i'm gonna run this no need for you guys to do that Puff. done is it working well depends control print screen as you can see it is still the xfce4 screen shooter that's doing the work so i have to make sure that control print becomes the gnome screenshot but that's later then the personal settings of gimp is going to make directories again but they have been already created let's copy gonna copy paste a dark photoshop like theme and some scripts over so we could go to gimp where we just were one higher to here to the themes i suppose and we run 620 and there is my cs6 theme the personal settings there are settings to be copied the default sublime theme and uh, settings preference settings we can go inside sublime text 3 config sublime text 3 packages user empty and then we go for 6 to 5 and so I copy paste it once I was happy and satisfied I copy paste those to the folder and now they're back the variety configuration file is uh, a big tutorial on uh, Eric to bottle be so every time I have a new installation I have to reset everything so all these things are fine-tuned the way I want it but I was just to I want to be sure to get them back oh we, we can also open it also nice idea to do and then to six to five oops uh, okay that's the sublime text and then six three zero that's variety and we open it again you see this this means I just copy paste it over the other one and it says reload so it's an um, a message that it has changed I wanted to print this for instance is changed I am a user of um, desktopper um, .co.uk I think it is so all my um, wallpapers are coming from there and it's going to be synchronized to my Dropbox to apps desktop or so every time I have to change it again so now I don't have to with the config file copied over so that was this one the plank settings in in here i must have a plank somewhere but it's not yet active so i'm gonna make it active this is my plank and this is how it looks now it's going to copy everything to the dot config yeah and it's going to be in here where is blank here it is log one launchers take a look what happens some more 
and now have my basic programs again there's some shifting I have to do I have to be I want this one up, up here I doesn't want it at the moment too much open I suppose but he'll, he'll do that later no problem um, what else the fonts I have some fonts here well the fonts are actually there because of my um, uh, the conky any text any font I think it was so these fonts have now been the Jedi font the Star Wars font you know it's Yoda you know so we have um, now created a folder just to quickly copy paste over the fonts and they will be installed as well but sometimes you really need to uh, reboot so do remember that if you're um, struggling with these fonts reboot and everything works just fine okay what else the settings for termite mm -hmm. termite termite so it's always a good idea to open things up and these are my settings like the settings from Arch Labs. I'm gonna use I'm gonna change those to the settings of my settings these settings and where are these settings these settings are here now there's another interesting tool because I want to check what is actually the difference between these two and I've shown that in other tutorials as well press super 5 uh, sorry super f5 and then you see a very interesting program new comparison let's do a file comparison let's do the one from me and the one from the system uh, doesn't do that and the one from here let's compare and see what's new I change the font okay I seem to change the color foreground ghost I do another background I do the arc background so bluish background I have other colors instead of those and I have some spaces which I can get rid of and that's it saved so basically I keep more or less the same thing I change some foregrounds and some backgrounds and all these coloring have been changed but it's on the whole okay settings are there so it's just coloring let's open her up so this is going to be overwritten that's okay let's open up control uh, alt or super enter and so on to so open the termite let's copy paste it over i have to know the number one up one up we were at number 680 Well, the settings are, have been copied let's see what happens ctrl alt t and this is my kind of look this is the look i want to have which is more a bluish look and it goes better with the blue from arc theme so i'm a user of arc theme and i want to have the same and since i'm making lots of tutorials and i do need a little bit uh, bigger font as well so this is my approach of making Yoda and Nemesis. We go to new fetch. New fetch is now this amount. Let's change this. Actually, it is this. This is the new look from new fetch. But I don't want to share some more information. So the new fetch file is somewhere down in here. New fetch, new fetch. So I'm going to change this file with my file. You know now how it goes so we don't have to look and there you go it has been changed how this is the original one and this is the new one so I want to share a bit more information what do we share uh, extra let's take a look uh, Windows media theme Windows manager theme probably theme and then icons, terminal, I need a terminal font is often a question that people ask and what CPU and GPU, that's it I made the, the images also a little bit from the side and back down and so on a bit of a different alignment, that's it okay, that's that
we're off to this one if you use Firefox sometimes you come in a system and you want to edit it and you have a dark theme and then it, you come to this um, this side is an, a text area where you have to type and you can't see it so what I have to do first is Control alt f and I'm gonna start Firefox the first time you really need to do that because when it starts when you start it yes you can stop it then it's going to create a file I think it's one step higher here it is so somewhere in here not somewhere here it will make an uh, extra it will copy an extra folder over which is going to make sure that there's no problem and this is the folder we've copied with the code CSS making everything white and readable again then this one I really don't know what it was again but it is I think an uh, arc theme that has a line so there is an arc theme this one and you can set these themes what we're actually talking about now is this eh? how does this look how will this menu look that's defined in the arc theme in the theme RC and I believe it had something to do with line width menu border with two and menu separator with one I think this is the only thing that has changed if I could recall correctly three months ago so I don't want that I'm gonna keep it as it is I like my menu the way it is don't want uh, an extra line border at the moment then that's that as you can see here this icon is really ugly that's a simple screen recorder and it's out of place so I've made a number 800 which is going to make sure that all the icons that are there in there are now fixed of course I have to stop and restart which I can't do but they, you'll see they'll be fixed the icon will be nice same applies with sublime text let's first uh, run it let's try, try another menu Control spacebar sublime you see this ugly icon up here which is not nice I don't want to see that I want to see my own icons let's run this one let's do it again let's try it with alt f3 this time whatever you want and here you see that we have a nice icon that's the one I want to see so that's um, done meaning we are almost at the end there is one little thing to explain that's this one scripts to change open box I haven't done a lot with it I just did this one uh, earlier on why because you can copy paste everything there is an application one old XFCE screen shooter and I want to replaced with green gnome screenshot and specifically with minus i at the end so it's actually going inside the config open box rc xml it's going to find this word and replace it with this word so it was an idea of mine to make an easy and make a script to easily change from um, application and uh, well spare some time but only thing I have found to do my only reason to do it now is this Chrome screen screenshot so let's change RC um, maybe first control print screen remember this is XFCE screen shooter okay so when we're gonna run this if he wants to, if he I of course he can't run this I have to be here so open terminal again nicer terminal nicer color it's all taste I know you change it to whatever you want it's all in the termite file so if we do this like so did you pick up no I don't care but to make a backup and then we have now a change or XML menu has changed where is our menu it's in the open box 
in here, not in here, sorry, not the menu, but the RCXML. Control find, GNU, screen, next. So without going into detail, going opening this, going to line 3777, change it, I've just I've done this in a script. So control print screen is now still the same. First to control shift backspace. Everything is reloaded again. Now we can do control print screen. And this is another screen shooter. And as you can see, it's in GPEG. That's what I want to do for my website. The other one I leave it in. Uh, if you can use it, use it. Um, in, in the meantime, it's not uh, necessary anymore. It changed Audacious to Dead Beef. And you can augment and change whatever you want. And this is the script to do it. And then, in effect, we are at the end of our system. This is what it looks like after some customization. And we have now a new terminal with another look. And many things have changed. Th specifically, oops, specifically also these um, Tunar bookmark elements are now fixed. Enjoy the Arch Labs Nemesis release, or, and you can, of course, always uh, apply it to any of the Arch Labs future ISOs. Enjoy!